there are no entry level or junior DevOps engineering jobs period. That's the circulating statement and the question I get asked and the response I get when I ask people, why don't you get into DevOps? They say, there are no entry level jobs. Why should I invest in a career that doesn't welcome me as a junior level? And that is 100% wrong, but the root of the problem is the misunderstanding of the definition of an entry level job in the modern IT. So let me clarify that to you and don't get deterred by these statements because they are not true. By the end of this video, you will understand exactly what you need to do if you would like to enter into the DevOps engineering from scratch with no knowledge in IT or if you are shifting from another career into IT or even if you are within IT and upskilling into DevOps. So stay with me, but please subscribe in the channel Activate the notification, give us a like and share, let the video spread and benefit the maximum number possible of people globally. And stay tuned because I'm going to tell you the inside details about this by evidence, not only by a point of view. So what is the verdict when it comes to junior or entry level jobs in DevOps? All right, so let me explain that to you, but we have to take a step back and agree on what is an entry-level job in modern IT. So 15, 20 years ago, it used to be that you can get A+, plus and Network+, plus, or maybe only A+, plus, get the certificate, and then apply for a hardware technician job, and after two, three, four, five interviews, you get a job, and you are paid low wage, or maybe a little higher than low wage, $20 an hour, or $25 an hour, and you're happy with that because it's better than working in McDonald's, in KFC, or any one of these chains. So that is what it used to be. Now, in modern IT, in the cloud era, they don't need you. I mean, most of the jobs that are going to be for customers who need cloud skills, they're not going to touch and feel the servers or the data centers of AWS or Azure or Google. Then the demand for this kind of jobs or the pay for this kind of jobs is going to decrease with time if it hasn't done so yet. So then we need to agree on what is an entry level jobs when it comes to DevOps engineering. What are the skills that you should have under your belt and better off what are the certificates that you are going to get or achieve after understanding and doing the demos and hands-on labs and deploying projects and building a portfolio, but also you seal all of that with the certificates. So now you are a well-rounded professional as far as DevOps engineering is concerned. So what are the minimum skills required? And are there junior DevOps engineering jobs or not? Let me answer the second one first, and from that we are going to answer the first one. So if you look on the screen, I went on dice.com. Everyone in the US, they know what is dice.com. Whatever happens in the US, it's a matter of time before it spreads globally. So I typed DevOps engineer junior or junior DevOps engineer, and there is a lot of results. If you look at the top ones, you'll find that the word junior DevOps engineer actually exists in all of them. DevOps engineer junior, intern associate DevOps engineer, Cl Google Cloud Platform DevOps engineer associate, so there are jobs available, but there are not so many. So that answers the second one. And if we look at some of these, intern associate DevOps engineer, for example, and this is 60, 46 days ago, updated eight hours ago. So this is pretty recent. And if we go down and look at the skills required. So this is what is expected from an associate DevOps engineer intern. So now you are starting your career as a DevOps engineer, but this is what I expect you to, do, to know. Qualifications. Bachelors of Computer Science, Bachelors of Information Technology or Software Engineering. GPA. Basic knowledge in AWS and Azure. Linux or Windows fundamentals. Infrastructure as code in one or more of these tools. Scripting. Python, Bash, PowerShell, Git and version control, CI/CD concepts and tools, including Jenkins, GitHub Actions, GitLab, or Azure DevOps, monitoring and logging tools, and container fundamentals. So they expect you to know the fundamentals of all of this information, or all this data, or all these skills, and they expect you to assist in implementing and automating CI/CD workflows. 
Building and managing cloud infrastructure using infrastructure as code tools like Terraform. Deploy and manage containerized application using Docker and Kubernetes. Set up and maintain monitoring dashboards using Prometheus, Grafana, and ALK stack for logging. And working closely with the DevOps team to troubleshoot and optimize. Let's look at another one. Junior DevOps engineer. If you look at the required qualifications, one year of experience, including internship projects. So even if you did an internship or projects that are worth the one year of experience or equivalent to that, that's okay, welcomed. Bachelor degree in computer science engineering or related field or equivalent experience. Basic hands-on experience with AWS and Azure. Familiarity with Terraform and Ansible. Understanding of Linux and networking fundamentals. Experience with GET and source Control management, familiarity with containerization like, like Docker is a plus. So now they are not expecting you to know the world and the depth of each one of these, but they expect you to know about them, either at an understanding level or familiarity level, or you have played with them and you did some projects with them. Let's look at the third one. Junior DevOps engineer, 10 days ago, updated five days ago. And if we look at the skills, one year of IT experience, one year experience in application servers, web-based architecture, including SSL domains and content delivery. These skills you will learn when you work with the cloud. One year experience with uh, Chef, Puppet, Ruby, Jenkins, or GitHub Actions. One year experience building cloud solutions. One year experience working with Kubernetes and container orchestration. Understand the concept of security related tooling, including firewalls. Working knowledge of Apache or Nginx. Understanding DNS and TCP IP and load balancing and network concept. Understanding Linux and experience with task automation via scripting and preferred qualifications and skills. You'll find some listed here. If we look at the next one, Google Cloud Platform DevOps Engineer Associate. So if you hear junior or associate, it's more or less the same. And here's the salary level that you that is expected, 85 to 120,000, and we're talking about an associate, a junior level, much higher than networking and other entry-level jobs. And, and that is in North Carolina, in Cary. Let's look at the skills, what you will do, and skills you will need. Bachelor degree or, or equivalent required. Cloud native application architecture and deployment. Proficiency with Jenkins, GitLab, Terraform, Docker, Kubernetes, and Ansible and strong experience with IAC tools, including Terraform and Google Cloud Platform Deployment Manager, and security practices and IAM policies and compliance requirements for cloud environments. So now we are talking about more or less cloud essential skills or fundamental skills, security skills, including identity and access management, Docker, Kubernetes, Ansible, Terraform, and you know Jenkins or GitHub Actions or one of these tools. So if you know these, then you are in a very good shape and you are a desirable profile as a junior DevOps engineer and that job exists as you can see. And there are more if you would like to look at more. Python scripting and uh, this, one, this one is of the type that requires also programming development. And I have discussed that whether you need to be a developer to become a DevOps engineer or not in the video I'm pointing at right now. So this is perfect. Now, if we agree on the definition of an entry level job in DevOps, and that is knowing Linux and Git, knowing Docker, knowing Kubernetes, scripting, Ansible, and Jenkins GitHub Actions or GitLab or similar tools, and also you know how to deal with cloud environments. So basically you know how to build virtual machines, containerized infrastructures and Kubernetes infrastructures in the cloud. If you know this and you know how to protect them with virtual firewalls and with web application firewall, for example, and with identity and access management, which users have which permissions and so on. If you know how to do this and if you know how to create it and define the different subnets or segments in the network for web and for application and for database, and then you can build the pipeline and the automation and scripts, you are more than welcome to become a DevOps engineer. And we have seen in one of the posts that 
whatever you spent as an internship or a career program while you are studying and doing projects and all that, that is considered as a one year or one year plus of experience. So this is the entry level. If you think that you are going to spend two weeks to one month to get an A plus equivalent certificate in DevOps and then get into an entry level, so your understanding is wrong. Here, they expect you to hit the ground running and you will be able either to own or to assist in building pipelines and automation and scripts and all that. Now we're talking about the software era where software is in control. So they expect you to have these skills as an entry level professional. So this is where the, under, the misunderstanding, I would say, or the misconception that there are no entry level jobs. Yes, there are, but you have to spend six to 12 months to get to the level of the entry level because it is now widespread across diverse tools and skills. And unless you know them, then you are not entry level, you are below the entry level. So we have proven now that there are junior DevOps engineer jobs available in the US. And I am sure if you look around, you will find as well. What if in my country, so let's say I'm in Germany and in Germany, there is no single post when we look at the most common or the most familiar job sites or job boards, there is no single post that talks about junior or associate. They all ask for one or two or three years of experience. I would tell you, okay, fine. Here is the solution for that case. Prepare yourself to be competitive, to be at the right level, to understand much better than even the ones who are interviewing you. And then you can apply, impress them, and then you can hit the ground running and your package at the entry job or the first job is going to be higher than you expected. That's the way to think about it. And that's a way to work around whether there are or there are not entry level jobs in your country. What you see in the, on the screen right now is the solution to that. Whether in your country there are junior or there are no junior, they are associate or no associate, they are entry or no entry, why don't you spend six to 12 months to prepare yourself to cover at least the essential skills required in any DevOps job to the right level, to the mid level, not to the beginner level. And what are these skills? You need to understand the fundamentals of cloud DevOps and networking. You need to know enough about the cloud. You need to be at a very good standing in Linux and preferably if you pass this exam, the RHCSA, you need to know about scripting using Bash and using Python as well, only for automation. You need to know version control, so Git and GitHub. You need to know YAML, that will take you into Docker mastery and then you will understand when you are writing the Docker Compose files. You need to be able to deal with Kubernetes infrastructures and you understand it very well and can you write the YAML files for them. You need to do the monitoring infrastructure as code using Terraform, enough CI CD tools, let's say Jenkins or GitHub Actions or both of them as a start is very good. And you need to do Ansible and preferably if you pass these exams as well. If you do this, this is going to be a 10 month period. If we take the maximum end and this is if you spend two hours average per day. Let's say you are slow in comprehending the new concepts and it takes you time to get your head around it. That's fine. Let's say one year. So one year part time. And if you put more hours, probably you will shrink it down to maybe eight or nine months. So this is what it takes to become an entry level skilled and qualified person in the modern IT. And these skills are irrelevant if you want to go to DevOps or not. So the only tool that you might not, or the two tools that you might not think about or need if you are not going for DevOps will be the monitoring part, unless if you will be in operations, and the CI CD. Otherwise, cloud engineer, you need Ansible, you need Docker, you need Kubernetes, you need scripting, you need Git and version control, you need Linux. But you need all of this in modern IT if you want to get into IT and be paid well as we looked at the entry level 85,000 to 120 something thousand dollars. If you would like to get to that, then understand and set the expectations right. What is the entry level skill set that I have to prepare? Work on preparing that and forget for God's sake about A plus and network plus and CCNA because they are not going to pay you that and the jobs are going to be limited and you are learning one skill, networking. 
Here you are learning Docker, you are learning Kubernetes, you are learning infrastructure as code, you are learning automation, you are learning scripting, you are learning Linux, you are learning CICD. If you continue with CICD, you are learning a lot of things and cloud. And it will take the same time if you would like to start from scratch with A plus, network plus, CCNA, CCNP, it will take you at least one year to finish from scratch. So why invest in a low profit stock, whereas you have hot stocks that are earning you a lot of money and they will get you a lot of ROI. So now I hope this is clear and the solution is clear and I don't want to hear from anyone that there are no entry level DevOps engineering jobs because you don't understand what are the expectations for an entry level job in modern IT. Remember that even if they are asking for one or two years of experience, put your resume or your CV or your profile in a way that you have a one year internship and you have done 15 projects, 20 projects, 30 projects, and highlight your projects and write the description in a way that shows that you understand. All right, so this is what it takes in order to get into DevOps engineering. There are junior DevOps engineering jobs and there are one and two years DevOps engineering jobs. And if you grasp all of this, and if you have the certificates, trust me, you are going to be stronger than the ones that will interview you if they have one or two years of experience. All right, so that's it. Please consider subscribing to the channel, activating the notification, and exactly, give us a like and share. Let the video spread and let the masses benefit and know the, the new norm in modern IT compared to the static legacy IT that people are still believing is worth pursuing. All right, that's it about now, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.